Hey YouTubians, it's Tony here from We Try Anything, channel likes Try Anything, so you don't have to. Today's video is going to be a tutorial video about how to operate the Casio MCW200H, which has a module number of 5490. So in this video, what we're going to do is show you how to use the chronograph part of this watch. We're going to show you how to set the date as well as the time. And also we'll just, we'll just quickly show you what these subdials do as well, which these two will be part of the chronograph and that has to, something to do with the time which I'm sure you can guess is 24 hours. So first of all, just to mention the links below are for the instructions if you they'll take you off to the Casio website there's also an affiliate link for this watch so if you want to find out a bit more about it on Amazon you can easily do so and also there is a link to the review of this watch which I have on the channel so the first thing to talk about is the chronograph part of this watch now the chronograph on this watch is known as what's known as a retrograde chronograph and what a retrograde chronograph means is that the dial or the sub dial that is for the minutes counting part um, it doesn't fully go around a circular dial it will go to the 10 and then it'll flick back to zero but that's the way that this chronograph works on this watch now Talking about the chronograph part, the dials are, as I've mentioned, you've got the minutes here, and then you've got the seconds indicator here, which is just solely for the chronograph and no other part of this watch. So to use the chronograph, what I've done, I've, I've counted five minutes elapsed, because first of all, what I want to show you how to operate is, just so you can see how these dials work, once I've done uh, what would be a reset on the chronograph. So the first thing I'm gonna quickly show you how to do is to start the chronograph. Now, if you imagine that's at zero, and then I'll start the chronograph here, and what you can see, if I press the start button from the top pusher here, and then press start, and as you can see, the seconds sub dial is starting to work so say for example you want to measure up to or something's occurring and it's got an elapsed time of 15 seconds so 15 seconds have transpired you press the start button again and that what that will do is stop the chronograph what I want now want to do is I want to reset the chronograph. Now what, what, what you'll notice is that on the chronograph it will reset the minutes as well as the seconds. And also what I have noticed, um, I just tried it earlier, if you want to adjust the time using this crown as well, that also resets the two chronograph subdials here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to press split because not only does the button operate a split time, it will also operate a reset on this watch as well. So if I press split, what you'll notice is that the seconds um, subdial reverses round and the minutes retrograde subdial here will go back to zero. And that's the chronograph reset as well as used. Now the next part of the chronograph is what I want to show you how to do is a measure a split time. So again, let's measure up to say 15 seconds. So I'm going to press start again to start the chronograph or stopwatch or how it, whatever you want to call it. So let's get up to 15 seconds because obviously you've got five second interval markers just on the inside of the dial. So I'm going to press split. So I've just got it just I've just got it just under the 15 seconds. So if I now give it a couple of more seconds, just so you can see the difference in the seconds, uh, what or what's transpiring because the chronograph is still working. Now if I re release the split time. As you can see, it's jumped up to 30 seconds. So that is how to do a split time on this watch. So if I want to, again, stop the chronograph and then reset it, it's as easily done as that. Now this watch will also allow you to record first and second finishes. So the first and second finishes, so for example, you want to measure two people running a race, first person does it you want to measure that time and then the second pe person runs through the finish line you want to measure that time and all as well so this watch will allow you to do that so to do so you press the start button so say for example the first runner runs the race in an unbelievable time of about 10 to 15 seconds so if we just go up to 15 seconds here and what you do you press split to measure the first time. So the first time uh, the runner has gone through it the first time in about 15 seconds. And then the, the second runner is coming up to this finish line. So again, you want what you want to do is get your finger on the stop or what would be the start button here. So say for example, they do it in an, a, a, just a, a great time as well. And they've just gone through the finish line. So you press stop. And then what you do to see the time that they've gone through is you press split again. And that's the second finish time there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset the chronograph as you would do as normal. So that is how to measure elapsed time, a split time, and also first and second finish times. 
Right, the next thing I'm gonna show you how to amend on this watch is how to set the date and time. Now, the date is currently Valentine's Day, which is the 14th of February, and the time, what we've got here, or what I'm recording this at, is about just gone 11 o'clock in the morning. Now, what I'm gonna show you first is how to do the date. So let's get it to what would be the 13th, and I'll tell you why in a minute. So what I've done, I've just pulled the crown out once just to get it onto the date adjusting part of the watch. So if I twist it towards me, what you'll notice is that the dates will go up in terms of, and I'm just mentioning the date here, which is just signified between the, the four and five hour markers. So let's go up to the 13th. Now the reason why I like to do that is I, I like to have the date the day before. And what that means is, is when I'm adjusting the time, I like to get it to midnight so I know that the date will flick over to the correct date so I know I'm on the correct time for the date as well now this watch makes it a little easy is that because you've got a 24 hour sub dial here so it gives you an indicator of what part of the day the hands are indicating at any given moment in time so what I want to do I want to start adjusting the time by pulling the crown out twice and then what I'm going to do as you can see once I get to midnight I mean the second hand has stopped as well so that might may help you make it a little bit more accurate if you so wish and so let's get it over so what you'll see is as I get to 12 midnight because as you can see the 24 hours is elapsing there and what you'll notice is it will go flick over to 14 or the 14th of February which we're at the minute now at the minute it is 11.03 in the morning so I'm going to go to what will be 11 o'clock or 11.03. Now as you can see, the as I say, the 24 hours sub dial is going up in value. So let's get it to 11 o'clock. And here we are, that's 11 o'clock. And I wanna get it to 11.03 in the morning. So that's 11.01, two, three, and that's probably as close as I can get it. Because unfortunately you don't have four minute, uh, four minute indicators there because, let's get it to just, before the four minutes, um, because obviously you've got a quite a, a thick, uh, what would be in dice or hour marker here. So that's it, I've got it to approximately that time. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just release or press the crown in and that releases the seconds as well. And that's the date and time set on the Casio MCW200H. And that's it really on the Casio MCW200H. I hope the video is of some help. And if it is, then please give it a like, it always helps the channel. And if you wanna see any more videos from the Read to Anything channel, then click on the subscription button below. And thank you for watching this video, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye.